Okay, so today the topic of discussion is going to be chemical peels versus microderm abrasion. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, the acid peels. And the way that glycolic acid peels works is actually quite simple. So what's going to happen is the mild acid will burn away a layer of the skin, uh, taking the damage with it and leaving the new damage-free layer of skin. Okay, so acid peels also have the ability to stimulate new skin cell growth by deeply penetrating the skin. Now, it also um, makes your skin produce collagen, which is very important for healthy skin. So, while these peels can be used anywhere, most people use them typically on their face because that is the skin that is the most visible to the rest of the world. So, surprisingly, this skin therapy is actually very gentle, uh, even for those with sensitive skin. So, the side effects are usually mild, and the skin usually recovers completely within just a couple days. Um, if you're not happy with the initial results, then you can just repeat the process, um, you know, once a week for the next couple weeks or so. But acid peels are very popular because of their price and how easy they are to administer. Uh, they come in a number of different concentrations, all the way from like 10% to 70%. And it's recommended that if you've never done a peel before, you should probably stick with one of the lower percentages just to double check how your skin will react. Um, make sure that you follow the directions exactly and be sure not to leave the peel on your skin for more than 10 minutes um, at a time. So even though these chemical peels are mild, uh, they're still an acid and should be treated with caution. It is always wise to seek the advice of your dermatologist to see if he or she thinks you can safely use a chemical peel. The doctor may also recommend you know, that you use a peel for less than 10 minutes just to see what else happens. So just remember um, to stay out of the sun for at least two days after a peel and be sure to cover up with uh, sunscreen if you go outdoors. Um, the glycolic acid peels are actually made of natural ingredients, and the acid occurs naturally in cane sugar, uh, citrus fruit, pineapples, and more, and is also one of the main active ingredients in many of the popular skin and beauty products in the market, okay? So if you're serious about getting rid of acne scars, minor wrinkles, or other blemishes, uh, but don't have the money to, you know, afford a trip to the dermatologist, then an acid peel could be exactly what you're looking for. Um, Okay, now let's talk about microdermabrasion. So microdermabrasion is going to also help remove the outer layer of the skin and it's typically used, you know, for all age ranges all the way from 12 to 65, but it's typically done by a dermatologist. So the skin cells replace themselves on average about every 30 days or so, uh, which makes microdermabrasion a treatment that will need to be done on a, a regular basis, okay? So the treatment works great for wrinkles, uh, sun damage, sun damaged skin and scars from acne as well. And this this treatment is done rather quickly and won't cause you any pain at all or require any type of surgery. Depending on the sensitivity of your skin, you might be able to do the treatments as often as every couple weeks, but monthly is, uh, is even doable, okay? So microdermabrasion has a very rapid recovery rate. You know, unlike an acid peel, your skin might feel a little bit tight, some blood vessels might break, and bleeding is also at risk. Um, you're, you're able to treat pretty much any part of your body with microdermabrasion, but just like the acid peels, the most common area treated is actually your face. So if you don't want to spend all the extra money going to the, to the dermatologist, um, you might want to check out some, some acid peels. So if you check out the link below this video, you'll find out some of the uh, best glycolic acid peels. Uh, and you'll actually be pretty surprised because typically people think that you have to spend uh, the most money to get the best product. But the link below will show you some of the most affordable products in the market to help give you for the best bang for your buck. So all you'll need to do is click the link below this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.